mimi inawezekana mkenya kabla mkenya atoke atoke hapa Kenya anafuatwa yeah. na agent hiyo contract assign na yeye hiyo contract hakuna mtu atauruka hiyo contract hiyo contract iko na label ya Lebanon na iko na mm. iko na flag ya ya Kenya two weeks ago msichana mwingine kwa group ya watu wa Lebanon anasema ananitumia contract ameandikwa contract yake ni ya 3 years na huyo dem anafanya kazi kwa nyumba ya mbusu wake kwa nyumba ya mama ya bwana nyumba ya mama na kwa duka na contract haisemi hivyo sasa nani atamtetea huyo mtu akitoka hey. Kenya in Lebanon kuna kwanga ile process okay mumesema kunaanga training si ndio but kuna ile process ya kupiga medical eh hey, iko cause uh, for me so far hmm. nimepata kesi unapata msichana kwa Lebanon na alifika Lebanon akapimwa akapatikana na mimba ya miezi tatu, miezi mbili usitoke tu by the way usitoke tu juu unatafuta job uende kama hujafanyiwa medical na ujui hali yako by the way ni kesi nyingine moja unajua kule pata na mtu mwenye anakupeleka hosi ni shida sasa hii Lebanon ukipata ukipata madama anakupeleka hosi he shukuru Mungu ukipata nyumba unapewa chakula Eh, hey, ambia Mungu asanti zaidi. Ukipata mtu anakupea hata sabuni, eh? Sabuni ya kuoga. Shukuru. Mm-hmm. Lebanon si maji, si stima. Si chakula. Wewe una expect nini? Hey, welcome guys. Na kama mnaviona tuko na warembo ambao wataji introduce pia tuweze kuwajua, tujue channel zao na pia tuweze tuendelee kuchapa story. So karibuni sana naitwa Mesh Vimto me I think majority of you maybe wananijua sana sana watu wa Lebanon and my channel ni Mesh Vimto ukitaka kujua anything about Lebanon nitafute tu kwa channel yangu thank you na mimi naitwa Susan Elian ya karibuni <laughs> na mimi naitwa Daivano TV niko Saudi Arabia karibuni sana thank you so much host for hosting us so guys today tunaongelelea mambo ya Lebanon Uh, tumeita Mesh Vimto hapa aweze kutuambia one two three aweze kutujibu maswali yenye tum... yanaweza kuwa irritative na tunaanza na tunaanza na mbio kegodo yes 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 thank you so much so mesh uh, nimesikia we umekuwa Lebanon for long how long have you been there umekuwa pale kwa muda gani uh, for eight years Since yes. 2014. Since 2014. Yeah. Haya, maybe ningetaka utueleze eh, pale Lebanon na sikianga eh, nini? Hakunanga aff- affiliation si ni inaitwa consulate ya Kenya ama ofisi ya Kenya uh, yenye inashughulikia warembo wenye wako pale. Sasa mtu akikuwa na shida pale kuna endanga namna gani? Okay, Lebanon hakuna embassy but we have a consulate. Kwa na consulate na imesimamiwa na mtu anaitwa Saida na assistant yeah. wake anaitwa Mr. Kasim. So mtu akiwa na issue you just talk to Kasim na ofisi inafanya kazi. Kata before haiko inafanya. But since tuulize about consulate, sasa hii inafanya kazi. But hakuna embassy. In case one like hiyo consulate haikusaidi embassy yenye imesimamia Lebanon ni embassy ya Kuwait. Mm-hmm. But atuwezi sema ati hatuna office yenye imesimamia wa Kenya. Though the office of consulate wao wanasema they don't have any connection with the government of Kenya et ni hao kujitolea. So we wonder wakisema nao kujitolea mbona wanakuanga na flag ya Kenya. But we have the consulate na huwa inasaidia wasichana. But lazima ukue na kesi yako Yaani kesi yako lazima ifuatiliwe kama ni ukweli ama ni uongo. Mhm. Yeah. Sasa nikuulize unasema wanakuanga na hey. Kenyan flag. So hey. the consulate hawa ni Kenyans ama ni ni, ni watu wa Lebanon? No, ni Lebanese. Ni, ni Lebanese maji not Kenyan. Eh. Hey. Na yeah. the consulate huwa wana okay wanasema ni kujitolea. Eh hata kama ni kujitolea wako appointed by the government ya Lebanon ama wako appointed by the government ya Kenya. They, they say they have no connection with the government of Kenya meaning they are appointed mm. by the government of Lebanon. 
Okay. Because wanasemanga eti mwenye hiyo mwenye hiyo ofisi alikuwa mm. mwenye anasaidia Lebanese wao kupata visa kuingia yeah. Kenya. So na mm. yaka akaona ni heri akuje yeah. inaweo helping Kenyans too. Okay. Eh. Yeah. Uh, so kumaanisha sasa hizi in case uh, msichana yote akuwe na problem pale anasaidika ama kuna wenye bado hawawezi pata usaidizi ah, wacha ni seme ni 50-50 juu ni bahati ya mtu because mm. i consulate wamekuwa yeah. na visanga na wa Kenya kuna tena wako wanasaidia wa Kenya but ikafika mm. tena extend tukaenda hivi kwa online 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 hivi ulikuwa unaenda kwa ofisi ofisi imefungwa ukipiga simu hawa respond but the moment mm. we try to speak up wakakubali yeah. wanasaidia wasichana but si yeah. kila mtu anasaidika kusema ukweli siwezi sema ni kila mtu anasaidika because we have different cases eh kuna different yes. cases so zingine hata hawata handle mhm uh, maybe tunaza, maybe tusikie kutoka kwa Susanelli and experience yake juu pia yeye nimeona amekuwa kusaidia watu kadhaa uh, pia anaweza maybe aku ku, kuuliza maswali mbili tatu Okay so Mesh ah uh, kuuliza hey. watu wanatokanga Kenya direct wanakuja Lebanon. Yes, iko. Is it possible bila kupitia kwa any agent? Cause nakumbuka nilikuwa na kesi ya wewe hey. maana ipande misema. Sijui kama unamjua huyo agent. Hey. Anaitwa nani? Mr. Mr. Mahel alikuwa ame kuna drama ilifanyika hapa kwa Asia. Una... Ya yeah, unakumbuka hey, kuna visanga zi kwake kwa nyumba kazi ilikuwa kuchukua yeah. sana from mom anakuja kulewa na watu na anawa wote kwa nyumba and then wakati hiyo story ilikuja kwa media i called to the the guy ndiye ehe naye uchu so wako inakwanga possible kuchukua msichana direct from Kenya anakuja uh, Lebanon na anakuja na kufanya kazi gani huko ni very possible kwenda direct eh ni possible cause you only mm-hmm. need paper. Kwanza na mimi, like me, nataka kwenda hiyo mm-hmm. Lebanon. Na naenda direct. CPT agent. No na ni possible mm-hmm. kwenda. And very possible. Sasa shida ni najua sasa ukiwa huku Kenya, we hata shida haina shida we mwenyewe, lakini hao ndio wanajua venye watatengeneza papers. Lazima akuwe na connection na agent ndio upate hizo papers ndio ufike huko direct but ni possible kwenda direct unajua Lebanon hakuna zile tough rules hawana hizo tough rules imagine ni inakwanga ama eh inakwanga like a uh, uh, free country kama Dubai ama tuseme Lebanon it is a free country if only kupata na na boss atakupa hiyo freedom but it is a free country Alafu kingine wasta kitu kingine sana uko blame and wewe unasikia ukisema umekaa for 8 years nini nafanya wengine wa complain sana like wasana uko blame vitu zingine mingi mingi nini nakoanga shida juu kama wewe umekaa nini nasumbuanga wengine ama nini ufanyika Lebanon sahi Lebanon si le Lebanon tulikuwa tunajua before yenye sisi tulikuta Lebanon sahi ime change since 20 wacha niweke since 2019 november lebanon it change unajua lebanon wakakuwa na economic crisis alafu kukatokea ile time kulilipuliwa alafu karudi kukatokea nini corona na imagine the same same country affected with three things eh? at the same time sasa lebanese na unajua lebanese wengi hawaishi nchi yao wanaishi nje so wenye wako nje ndio wana support wenye wako wako lebanon and then how watu hawatambui africans kitu kingine wamezoea ethiopia unajua ethiopians akiambiwa tunaenda right anaenda right akiambiwa tunaenda left anaenda left and then unaleta mkenya unexpect you mkenya ametoka kenya ameambiwa unakuja kulipa 20000 and then you change mind akishafika unamwambia utamlipa 150 Wala hapo mkenya hizi kubali. Juu mkenya ni mtu amekuja hapa amesoma. So unaona Lebanese wanashindwa kukop na kop na wa Kenya. Na wa Kenya wengine walienda with a lot a lot a lot of expect 
stations zenye wakiwa Kenya walidhani wakienda huko watapata but wakapata vitu ni vitu ni different Naona uh, Okay mm. So mimi niko na swali niko na dollars ama 150 watt Inafaa kuwa inafaa kuwa 200 dollars but Susan wacha niwaambie mimi najua wasichana wanalipwa 100 dollars na 150 dollars And the same time the girls ndio wanajinunulia chakula na ndio wanajinunulia basic needs Surely hiyo mtu alienda Lebanon kufanya Ya ya juice ni wasichana wana eh sana Wana complain sana squeeze wasichana about the salary wengine wa complain about the environment maybe mtu anakaa nyumba yenye hata stima hakuna Lebanon ni shida acha niwaambie hata tuita ndio sababu hata tuita ngi Lebanon mimi naita nga labor pain because it is full of pain kwanza ukienda uangukie maskini wewe hauna bahati Mary eh hey. unamaanisha kuna mtu analipwa 15000 pesa ya Kenya Yes, 15,000 Kenyan money. Merina, hebu nikuulize. Eh. Kwani mtu akitoka Kenya kwa hiyo ofisi ya Kenya ape yangu contract contract akaona hiyo mshahara? Ah, uh, kulingana na wa Kenya, ni kama hawapo hiyo contract, unaambiwa tu utakuja kulipwa 200 dollars. But ukifika kule Lebanese hawatambui contract. Uh-huh. Yaani unatoka Kenya juu ya 200 dollars, 20,000 Kenyan shillings na maybe utaenda kujifanyanga shopping. You know, no, unajua sasa? Yeah. Unajua sasa? Unajua nini Ivano? We cannot atwezi wa judge. Juu kusema tu kweli juu saini kwa Kenya. The situation is not well. Eh? Hakuna makazi na huyo unaweza pata watu wako so desperately they need that job. So mtu anasema yenyewe nikipata hii 20,000 nitaweza kujimanage kuliko ukae Kenya na hauna kazi na hauna so huyu mtu akifika Lebanon anapata the budget alifanyia kwa hii 20000 si venye ali budget anafika pesa imekuwa reduced apewi basic needs anasaposa jinunulie as a lady unatumia wacha niwaambie watu wa Lebanon kuna watu najua wanatumia nguo zao wanajiendea nazo period because they cannot afford pesa hata ya kununua pad Unalipwa that 15000 na haupewi cash zinatumwa nyumbani utajinunulia pade na nini na huyu mtu hataki kukubaiya It's too mm. bad by the way it is worse eh it's true cuz i remember huyo huyo nje dadaitwa Mr. Mahel also although sasa yeye ali alinyang'anywa license hiyo kesi wakati ilifanyika eh. nikapoa trade hivyo hivyo alienda akanyang'anywa customer alichukua license yake So au asana vile vile niliongea na wao sio hivyo kama unakumbuka hiyo story nakumbuka tuseme ti amelala na mmoja hajalala na wengine that drama ni hao asana so vile niliwauliza walisema eti huyu mzee anawatake care more than wakiwa kazi eti sio anawabaia mambo na mahitaji zao za kimwili si sabuni chakula hadi walijaribu kutetea huyo mzee aludishiwe license unasikia mzee analala na wasichana sit kwa nyumba wote pamoja but vile alinyang'anywa license walikama out kumtetea eti mzee anatusimamia anga chakula anatubaianga bad anatubaianga wife anatulipianga bills anatupia maji like walinihesabia vitu nikashindwa na kwani mulienda hadi Lebanon contract iko inasema aje acha niguzie hiyo story ya Mahel eh Mahel ni mtu unajua mm-hmm. mimi namjua because sasa hivi niko Kenya niko natumanga mzigo through him eh ananipea kama ni madem mwenye wako kwa ofisi hapa napeleka mzungu ah au hizo mizigo through how madem I blame Kenya na hii wasana nyoko Lebanon hawapendi kusikia na, na nitaishi kuambia I blame Kenya Susan mm-hmm. unaona huyo Mahel alikuwa anasaidia mm-hmm. madem sana completely how can why complain how can why complain kwa hiyo mzee unateseka akose kwenda kukutoa kwa hiyo nyumba but wasichana ni nani wasichana ukitoka huko nje ukipata na mwarabu akudanganyilie anaingia box wewe simba akipewa nyama atakosa kukula 
tuseme tu mm-hmm. kiubinadamu atakosa kukula atakosa sasa mama hen akipewa hii alafu alipatia test nyingine mbona asikule atakula tu so hawa madem wakapewa wakapewa chance waende washerekee hiyo kumbuka mwaka si ndio madem walianza ku fight wakaanza ku fight so naona hii kesi ikaenda ikafikia paka Kasim wale madem sasa juu ya kushinda kwa gari uliona venye walikuwa na discuss venye walikuwa na discuss unajua kwa hivi kuko hivi si ndio mahe la karudi akanyang'anywa hiyo license saa hii speaking saa hii hata simu yangu niko na message ya wasichana watatu kwa hiyo ofisi ya mahe wako na shida Maher aizu wasaidia Johana ofisi. Wakipigia consulate, consulate anasema I will deal with the case. Ah wasichana wasaidiwe na nani? Juzi Maher aliniforwardia DM yake akaniambia you see sister I have many girls want me to help them like aniambia haizi wasaidia juu license ili kufuliwa. Haizi. But mimi ni swali yangu na sasa. Swali yangu hii Hey. Sasa tuseme shida ya Lebanon inaanzia pale Kenya ama inakuja kupata mtu Lebanon. Cause ukitoka Kenya you have to, to read your contract, uone imeandikwa boss ana ana provide nini na nini. Just imagine msichana utoke kwenu ukuja kulala na mwanaume just because anakubaia pad na anakulipia at net na maji. Mhm. Uh, Sasa ni kutoka Shida Shida inaanzia huko. Juu ukiwa hapa, ukiwa hapa Kenya, obvious agent atakupa hiyo contract akwambia unafa uende 2 years contract unafa ku provide na food. But ukifika kule, hawatambui hiyo. They don't care. Mimi tukwambie wasitana, contract ni mdomo yako. Si hiyo paper uzipewa because that paper kwao hakunanga kitu inasema by the way. Hata atakunja hiyo contract yako na aisahau kabisa but we have a contract from the embassy kutoka yani kwa si embassy kwa consulate kuna hiyo mm-hmm. contract kutoka kwa kwa consulate nimesema kama inawezekana mkenya kabla mkenya atoke atoke hapa kenya anafaa yeah. tonee agent hiyo contract assign na yeye hiyo contract hakuna mtu ataruka hiyo contract hiyo contract iko na label ya lebanon na iko na mm-hmm. iko na flag ya ya kenya yani iko tu contract yenyewe Niko nayo. Yo, so, I think, ina shida. so I think I think the, the nini uh, kwa hiyo question ya shida mahali natokea eh hata mimi niko nataka nikuulize kwa sababu nilikuwa na wanda if watu wasichana wanapelekwa pale na agents from here from Kenya ni kumaanisha venye walienda pale kwa ofisi si lazima waende wa, wa through processes za training na everything before wa kwe di, nini wa kwe dispast eh, dispast ndio mhm ah so nikuwa oh, na ujiza lebanon, lebanon hakuna mm. training hakuna nga training ah ehe uh-huh. so eh, lakini ikikuja ni contract the agent mwenye yako hapa Kenya hawananga hiyo contract na maybe msichana akitoka hapa hajuangi kazi yenye anaenda kufanya directly anajua maybe anaenda kwa nyumba fulani ah uh, okay what what I'm going to moja mbona na wa mm. agent wa Kenya wananyamazisha yes. kama kitu kingine na agent wa Lebanon mhm hawananga say akisha pia na msichana ananga mm. say kwa agent wako they are so harsh so mm-hmm. for me to be me wasitana wasitana ndio ignorance ah nikuulize tumeenda eh B- nikuulize sasa msichana amechukuliwa na agent hapa Kenya na anapelekwa eh. huko nje si, si lazima basi the agent from Kenya na yule yako pale wako wame wame communicate Wan, tunakupatia msichana fulani lazima okay the contract haikuangi the same ile contract huyu anapewa hapa na agent wa huku na ile mwenye ata, atapata pale si the same same contract Acha wacha ni wacha nikwambie. Na mm. kama kuna mwenye ataona hii video na kwa Lebanon. Kama uko Lebanon, ukae ukijua hakuna contract huwa una sign. Hakuna contract usainiwa Lebanon. The mm. only thing you do in Lebanon, hata uletoe karatasi ya Leb- imeandikwa into Lebanese, hiyo Arabic, atunataka kutranslatiwa. Inakuanga ni ile makaratasi ya ku sign ID. Naona ile ikama, mnaitanga je Saudi Lebanon itangwa ikama. 
ikama ya Lebanon inakuwa nga renewed each and every year each and every year and i mean what after after we arrive Lebanon una minus the three months za visa and then hapo ndio contract yako inaanza after three months ndio contract inaanza so akunanga contract huwe inasainiwa wewe ukitoka na contract hapa Kenya ni wewe na contract yako shida yako mwarabu anajua umeenda contract ya ngapi ya 2 years so i was so surprised two weeks ago msichana mwingine kwa group ya watu wa Lebanon anasema ananitumia contract ameandikwa contract yake ni ya 3 years na huyo dem anafanya kazi kwa nyumba ya mbusu wake kwa nyumba ya mama ya bwana nyumba ya mama na kwa duka na contract haisemi hivyo sasa nani atamtetea huyo we yes alafu nikuuliza swali lingine before Ivano aongee mtu akitoka okay. Kenya and Lebanon kuna kwanga ile process okay mumesema kunanga training si ndio but kuna ile process ya kupiga medical eh hey, iko cuz uh, for me so far hmm. nimepata kesi unapata msichana kwa Lebanon na alifika Lebanon akapimwa akapatikana nyumba ya miezi tatu, miezi mbili. Ukiauliza eh uh, them aliniambia yeye hakuenda training alitoka and then nime notice uh, ma agent wa Kenya anachukua sana wasichana kutoka Mombasa wakupeleka Lebanon. Ananiambia yeye alitoka Mombasa direct aka travel hakuenda kupimwa kufika Lebanon na kuna nyumba ya mwezi na nusu. So inakuwa ni fault. Kipo na wengine wafanyiwe medical. Sijui sasa. Sijui kwa nini? Unajua Suna, tu ama agents ni wakora. Ukora yenye kwa hii Kenya ama cartels. Ai, wacha mm. tu. Kama mimi si mimi mimi nataka kurudi Lebanon. Na suppose kufanya medical gani? Ya mimba ya HIV na nafaa kupimwa kifua, nijulikane kama niko na shida ya kifua. Sasa wewe kama mkenya, mimi kama mesh, nataka kuenda. Si nitaambi huyo wa agent lazima unifanyie hizo medical bitu nataka kujua hali yangu. Usitoke tu. By the way, mtu usitoke tu juu unatafuta job, uende kama hujafanyiwa medical na ujui hali yako. By the way ni kesi nyingine moja. Unajua kule kupata na mtu mwenye anakupeleka hosi, ni shida. Sasa hii Lebanon, ukipata ukipata madama na kupeleka hosi, he, shukuru Mungu. Ukipata nyumba unapewa chakula, Eh, hey, ambia Mungu asanti zaidi. Ukipata mtu anakupea hata sabuni, eh? Sabuni ya kuoga. Shukuru. Mm-hmm. Lebanon si maji, si stima. Si chakula. Wewe una expect nini? Na unajua saa hii, saa hii ni mwana ni kama visa za Saudi zime reduce. Ma agent wanapeleka madem Lebanon. Saa hii wataangusha huko kama kitu kingine. Alafu alafu hey. nikuulize Nikulize mesh, uh, hey. kwa hile experience uko na yo Lebanon hizo miaka nane umekaa huko umeona venye hiyo inti imegeuka from, from kwenye ilikuwa imeanza kukua was. Saa hiyo unaweza advice watu waendele kuenda Lebanon? Uh, for me, sita hapa ningumu kujibu hii swali. Kwa sababu to Lebanese, si wote masini, but mi usema. Uh-huh. Kama uko na option, umechagua option A Lebanon na option B kwa hapa. Na hii option B iko kabisa 95%. Na hii iko 99. Unaenda hii 95%. Because for me Lebanon, sana sana wenye wanaenda saa hii nitawaita Masley Queen. Hawatatoboa Lebanon. Hawaezi toboa. Uongo mbaya Suza. Wasichana wenye wanaenda saa hii Lebanon, hawatoboi. Wanarudi nyumbani na 2 months, 3 months. Huyo mtu amezoea kukunywa chai asubuhi saa nne lunch anakula na nataka kunywa Lebanon hakuna hiyo unless unless umepata na familia wako na do mm-hmm. na unajua ukitoka Kenya hautajua kama hiyo familia iko na do mm-hmm. unaona but for me the, the uh, highest amount uh, mesh, the highest amount yenye mtu na dipo kwa Lebanon ni ngapi 200 dollars Wow. Ile pesa mingi. Oh, pesa mingi. Ya yenye mtu analipwa. Yenye mtu anaweza pata. 450 dollars. 
na hiyo utakuwa umekaa for how long eh acha tuanzie tuulize mgeni au majedid wanaingia saa hii ile sarali mtu anapata mingi kabisa ni ngapi ai wewe sarali nyo hata kama wewe ni ex girl sarali ni na suppose kuingia nao ni 250 ukwa wewe ni ex ukwa wewe ni nini 250 Utu, mtu asidanganywe na agent unaenda kulipwa agent akwambie unaenda kulipwa 30000 please kama unaenda Lebanon ambia agent akwambie into dollar form not into Kenya money mwambie salary yangu ni pesa ngapi akwambie kama ni 250 ama ni 220 asikwambie eti ni 30000 because akikwambia 30000 ile siku yenye rate itashuka utasema nini alafu ni kuulize Twenty four, twenty fourteen. 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 Twenty fourteen
kwa 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 nyumba mbili uh, na ukauliza huyo sasa ataweza kutetewa na nani lakini swali yangu ni akienda pale eh, ni kulazimishwa na lazimishwa afanye hizo nyumba tatu plus the shop ama ni contract ilienda ikabadilika na anaweza fanya nini ndio sasa aweze kusaidika hakuna contract inasema you should do more than one house hakuna mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the only thing yenye inaweza saidia dem kama huyo ni wewe mwenyewe mm-hmm. usimame wima ambia mdosi wako nikitoka Kenya niliambiwa ni nyumba moja hakuna mali niliambiwa ni duka na nikaambiwa mm-hmm. nyumba zingine mbili au hitaji agent na au hitaji consulate stand stand for your own si acha niambie libanisi waoga simama we mwenyewe na mwambie mimi sioshi nyumba ya mamako na sioshi nyumba ya ule and you are done na akikwambia je mwambie kama utosheki mimi nirudisha wapi office because you have all the right kukata na hapo sio penye sasa shida inaanza unasikia mtu ameuliwa leba leba lebanis hawaui hiyo mambo ya kuana kwa lebanis ni waoga mhm uh-huh. msidanganye lebanis si rais wa uwane uh-huh. they are cowards okay sasa so, Susan tunaomba utumalizie. Ah, tukimalizia mess ngoa nataka kuuliza. Hey. Sasa hii una unarudi unarudi kwa the same house. Okay, for hizo miaka 8 umekuwa kwa nyumba moja. Eh hey, nimekuwa kwa hao moja. Na unarudi kwa nyumba hiyo hiyo bado. Asijajua vizuri lakini narudi huko tu niko na mission zingine huko. <laughs> <laughs> Eh. Hey. So mimi sina maswali mengi na nika nimemaliza maswali kwa akili for now. Eh hey, wacha, dakika moja Ivano. Niko na message kwa wasichana wenyewe wako Lebanon. Please, kama uko Lebanon. Stand your own. Sijisimamie wewe mwenyewe. Unkubali kwa advice wa na beste mwenye wako Lebanon usijifana mm-hmm. usi yani usitake kujifananisha na mtu mwingine ati unaona kama mimi mimi nilikuwa naka life eti ndasema just nilikuwa tu life nyingine different Lebanon au ukikuja ukae venye mimi nilikuwa naka na mdosi wangu jua mdosi wako na ujue weakness yake jua tena anajua weakness yako kuwekewa pesa usiwekewe pesa na mwarabu Lebanese mwambia kupatia kila siku anakupatia every month take your money take your money. Takaba unajua huwezani na kazi ya Mwarabu tafadhali. Ka Kenya, tulia tu Kenya. Jiwacha nikwambie, Lebanese wako na stress na watatoa na wewe. Kwa hivyo wewe kama huwezi hold hizo stress zao, my dear, how utafanya kazi? Sikia na hii, itoke na hii. Sasa hii Lebanese ni wakati wao wa kuambia watu wananuka. Hiyo isikushtue, ingia bafu, ka kwa hiyo bafu 3 hours. Ukuje uniambie kama kuna siku Lebanese atai kuambia unanuka. Ivo nuno nitawaambia kwa leo. Eh. Hey. Okay, before tumalize me about hiyo story hey. ya kuambia mtu ananuka. Mm. Kuna kitu moja wasiana wajua about the issue ya kuambiwa unanuka ama we ni mchafu. Kuna issue moja wasiana wajua wangi. Wakati mwana anakuambia we mchafu unanuka, hiyo uchafu wangi ameiona kwako kwa mwili. Anakuanga ameiona sana sana mali unalala. You know a lot of girls wanasemanga ah mimi siwezi tandika room yangu, siwezi safisha room yenye nalala. Si unajua hivyo? Eh. Hey. And the moment unatoka kwa ile room unataka kusafisha chini, kuna hao mawaiguru wanakujanga kwa hiyo room yako kuchunguza. So and then unakumbuka room yetu mtu anaweka makubu hapo, maleban, zile mamatunda zako umeficha, room zetu ni kidogo, hazina dilisha zingine kunuka. So akikuja hao na ile harufu iko kwa room yako, ataitoa na wewe. Hata kuambia kama ameenda kwa room yako atakuwa anakuambia kila wakati unanuka aone kama uko na akili so mimi naambianga mtu wakati umeona mtu amekwambia unanuka unanuka enda kwanza safisha ile room yenye unalalanga au ka room unalala enda kasafishe kwanza uone kama siku ingine akikuja aingie kwa room yako atakwambia kama unanuka unaweza shinda kubafu umejisungua umejisungua kikiki chini tena na kwa unanuka wanake anajua ujasafisha room yako so guys mwenye una watch video Ukisikia mwajiri wako amekwambia unanuka, rudi kwanza safisha room yenye unalanga. Hapo ndo harufu ametoa si we unanuka. Yeah. 
sasa wa Lebanon watasema wanalalanga kwa balcony Aya chama ni utatumalizia Okay 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 ah Ati ati Lebanon wanalala kwa balcony <laughs> majority wanalalanga kwa balcony <laughs> Ehe Hakuna kulala ndani na kukinyesha na nyesha kunje Unajua Lebanon na wananga nyumba kubwa Mhm. Wako na nyumba kidogo lakini kazi ai. Mm-hmm. Kazi mingi. Kazi ni mingi. Nyumba ni dogo uh, lakini kazi uh, ni mbovu. Na ndio hawakulipi. Eh. Sasa, uh, sasa kwa balcony utalala aje Sababu si obvious hii ni kukunanyesha, kuna baridi nje. Kuna kuna zenye wanaikanga uh, vio. Ama iko ama iko na roofing. <laughs> kuna unajua venye balcony iko alafu wanaeka uh, vio. Sasa okay. unajua cafe kako hapo mvua ikinyesha uh, wewe pangana na na hiyo mvua ni shida yako. Uh, wewe bora ulale na uamke. Lakini so long as kama yako vio hunyeshewi. Eh lakini kako eh kako kama baridi. Baridi inaweza kuwa iko. Eh. Kuna baridi juu si ni nje hapo hata kama. Eh. Uh, <laughs> kama unalala uh, kwa flow. Eh. Uh, ya hapana. Lakini watu wacha watu wa, mimi nasema mwenye anataka kuenda enda ujione na macho yako usiambiwe. Yes. Eh. But acha mtu ende. But mimi according to me mimi mimi mesha according to mimi venye economy Kenya imekuwa unasikia kila mtu akicomplain mambo Kenya iko juu. Yaani economy ya Kenya ikukimbize na uende tena ukakimbizane na economy ya Lebanon. Hapana. Eh au Wacha nikwambie Susan. Mimi nimefanya campaign ya Lebanon. Hakuna kitu kidambiwa. Mimi I was the first person kwa internet kuambia wa Kenya wa boycott mm. Lebanon. Wakarusha right and left, right and left. Walikuja wasitana wengi. Sai wako wapi? Waliru hata wako ka three man. Wako Kenya. Mm. Wengine wako Kenya ndio walikuja na wakoolewa. <coughs> Mimi sasa ya wacha nikumalizie hapo. Eh. Hmm. Tutarudi tena oh. guys, acheni tumalizie hapo. All right, uh, thank you so much guys. Thank you so much for watching our video. At least hii imekuwa very informative session. Tumeweza kujua a lot about Lebanon. Eh, kama mimi nimekuwa nikijaribu kufuatilia, nilishafanya interview moja, but si ku get that uh, deep information. At least tumeweza kujua mashida zenye uh, uh, the ladies wanapitia. Na umesikia advice ya kwamba kama wewe una feel uko na roho ya kufika pale unaweza fika we mwenyewe ujionee. Na kwa hisho tumekuwa na mesh eh, mesh wa hito. Vinto. Vinto, mesh Vinto. Tumekuwa na Susan Elian na tuko na the Ivano TV. Make sure you visit all our YouTube channels and make sure you subscribe. My channel is Edman TV and I'm your host bio kekodo thank you thank you guys bye bye bye